Sometimes I affect the Z Star, keep it going. Ah! All right, let me get the gaming news topic off my chest before I go ahead and explain myself at the end of the video. All right. So, yeah, let's get right on going. Now, a lot of you guys have been pretty much aware that Fantasy Star Online 2 is now fully in English and now available in English on US Xbox Ones and, of course, PC via the Windows 10 Store. So, of course, if you're an Xbox owner or a Windows 10 PC owner, guess what? Fantasy Star Online 2 is free to play, and also there's barely any pay-to-win shenanigans into it. And when it comes to the microtransactions, it's just pay-to-style, and that's what it is. It's just fancy cosmetic stuff, and you can find an alternative way to get hold of it. However, when it comes to Fantasy Star Online 2, you're rewarded more for playing the game. A lot more. And really, to be honest with you here, when it comes to Fantasy Star Online 2, I am so goddamn addicted to this goddamn game. Like, hell, this is just one hell of a hack and slash action MMORPG fun fest. And I had a blast with it. I'm, I, it's great. And also, Sega has also announced that it will be coming onto other PC platforms besides the Windows 10 Store. So, be on the lookout for that. Also, uh, Sega has recently announced that everybody will be caught up as Sega will be planning on getting episodes 4, 5, and 6 up and running for the worldwide audiences by the end of 2020. And yeah, Fantasy Star Online 2 is pretty much getting the hype, and there is a lot of hype when it comes to Fantasy Star. However, if you haven't played Fantasy Star Online 2, go ahead and do so. Because, goddamn, I had a good time with Fantasy Star Online 2, and I had a blast. A real good blast. Alright, and this is somebody who hasn't played Fantasy Star Online 1. And, uh, I finally get a chance to play a Fantasy Star Online game. And that's great. And now I'm happy that I've played Fantasy Star Online 2. Worth checking out, by the way. Really worth checking out. Goddamn. However, enough going on and on and on about how amazing Fantasy Star Online 2 is, because what's going on here is there's going to be a new thing going on for Fantasy Star Online 2. We don't know if it's an expansion or a standalone expansion, but boy oh boy, things uh, uh, poop is about to hit the fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I'm censoring myself. However, Fantasy Star Online 2 is getting like this new thing. I, I don't know if it's like an expansion or a standalone expansion, and it's going to be titled Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. And if you have been to the Xbox Games Showcase stream, that's where you definitely find it, because Sega first revealed Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis out to the world on the Xbox Games Showcase. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, wait, is this a standalone expansion? Is this an expansion? What's going on? It's going crazy. And... I got the notes right up on my notepad, the Cliff Notes version, so that way I could pretty much uh, go ahead and recap everything that was stated as to what ended up happening. So, let's get right on going. So, Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis is coming to 2021 and will be for Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Windows 10 release. That was when it was revealed at the Windows 10 Showcase. However, if you go on over to the article written by Gematsu that has translated things for the Japanese version of New Genesis, you'll definitely come to a realization that there is a Japanese trailer that's saying, A, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis is coming to PlayStation 4 and PC, and there will be a cloud version for Nintendo Switch owners and, of course, PC owners as well, just in case. Just in case. All right. 
However, Sega ended up the next day revealing a trailer detailing the features of New Genesis. So it's essentially like a little follow-up video, and that's what they uploaded. Now there's going to be an improved character creation tool, and we're going to be exploring a new open world environment, and New Genesis will be powered by an upgraded engine, and an upgraded battle system will be involved as well. However, you have the Photon Glide that has you flying in midair, and of course the Photon Dash that has you running faster because you're going to be exploring like a big open field because apparently something has happened and the game takes place like a thousand years after the events of Fantasy Star Online 2. So, considering what's going on, it, it, I'm getting curious. And don't worry, the open world environment, the huge open world environment is pretty much dynamically changing when it comes to time and weather. So, if it's going to be nighttime, the whole thing's in night. Daytime, oh yeah, the, your field's in daytime. And yeah, so however, your new enemy out there is pretty much the dolls, no word. I haven't gotten that further in the story, and the story hasn't been fully translated yet. We are, we're yet to get episodes four, five, and six, and Sega saying we're gonna be doing that. So with that totally said, we don't know if the dolls are gonna be replacing the false spawn, or the false spawn's gonna exist alongside the dolls. Okay, however, your character creations are gonna be compatible between Fantasy Star Online 2 and Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. So yes, emotes and registered data will carry over to New Genesis from PSO2 Vanilla. Character growth in game economies such as your Meseta and uh, just your basic in-game currency, Meseta and Fun, which is kind of like your community money points. They're both like uh, virtual earnable currency and you don't have to pay cash for it they're not going to be carrying over to new genesis they're going to be staying in pso2 vanilla all right however when it comes to your character growth yeah that's not going to carry over on uh, new genesis it's staying on pso2 all right but however, when it comes to your premium currency, your arcs cash, and your star gems, and of course your weapons and your gadgets, they can carry over to New Genesis from PSO2 Vanilla. However, players are, are pretty much advised expecting the stuff from PSO2 changing temporarily. All right. It's just basically essentially get yourself a jet because if you kind of look at it, it is like a really, really updated graphics engine and it totally feels more like a Fantasy Star Online 3. And I thought it was a Fantasy Star Online 3, to be honest with you here. So yeah, that stuff happens. However, Fantasy Star Online 2 will be getting graphical upgrades and I'm talking about vanilla. Vanilla Fantasy Star Online 2 will be upgraded with the same graphical updates as New Genesis. And of course, features they will carry between PSO2 and PSO2 New Genesis. So there's gonna be features that are gonna basically carry between uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 Vanilla and New Genesis. All right. And however, Fantasy Star Online 2 and Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis will both be free to play as well. They. Fantasy Star Online 2 is going to be entirely free to play, especially when it comes to New Genesis. Now, a lot of people are going to go ahead and quickly point out that, hey, uh, on the U.S., on the West, uh, when it comes to Fantasy Star Online 2, it's on Xbox and Windows 10. But when you, when you go over to Japan, it's going to be on PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and the PC. And now when it comes to New Genesis, like I did mention, oh hey, it's coming to PlayStation 4 and PC in Japan, and New Genesis is going to be available for Nintendo Switch via cloud version, and PC gamers having a hard time looking for a gaming PC can have access to a cloud version. But however, Fantasy Star Online 2 is like PlayStation console exclusive in Japan, it's Xbox console exclusive. Well, here's the thing for that. Because of Microsoft and Xbox, 
is essentially why Sega finally decided to get this game localized. Because had it not been for Microsoft, Fantasy Star Online 2 would have stayed in Japan. And that would have sucked. But however, Microsoft stepped in and said something with Sega, and that's why we ended up seeing, hey, we're seeing Fantasy Star Online 2 on Xboxes and, of course, Windows 10 owners. However, if you are a PC gamer, in especially in Japan, Fantasy Star Online 2, go to town. All right, the same thing is going to be the case for New Genesis. However, we're talking about console exclusivity between uh, PlayStation in Japan and Xbox in the West, and that is the thing. However, it is kind of odd that. Uh, why isn't uh, New Genesis compatible for Japanese Xbox Ones? The problem with that here is that Microsoft was not doing good when it comes to Xbox in Japan. And that is the problem. However, if it's one thing, one thing we know for certain, we know everybody's going to be flocking to the PC version more rather than the PlayStation version. After that incident with the whole... Uh, international content policy incident. However, now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the graphical upgrades when it comes to Fantasy Star Online 2. I am hyped up about that, by the way. <laughs> Fantasy Star Online 2 looks amazing, it looks astounding, it looks fantastic, and it just feels more like a goddamn... It looks more like a Fantasy Star Online 3 because those look like entirely brand new graphics, but it is an entirely updated graphics engine for Fantasy Star Online 2, and I'm like shocked in the palt that this is Fantasy Star Online 2, and it's getting the new Genesis update. And not only new Genesis is happening, but Fantasy Star Online 2 Vanilla is gonna be getting the new, uh, pardon the burp here, is gonna be getting the new Genesis treatment as well. So, New Genesis and Fantasy Star Online 2 Vanilla, they're both going to be getting that big graphic update, and that's going to look really fucking amazing. And it's going to go and blow my mind, like, like, really blow my goddamn mind. It, it is astounding how evolved Fantasy Star Online 2 really is when it comes to New Genesis. It, it looks absolutely amazing, and I'm already addicted, I'm already hooked. The Fantasy Star Online 2, and uh, my goodness, the f and if I kind of look at the graphical upgrade with New Genesis, that's gonna that's gonna be the same in the future of Fantasy Star Online 2 Vanilla. Like, holy shit, that's gonna be really fucking astounding. All right, that's all I gotta say, and I gotta go ahead and explain myself. Hey, when it comes to your news segment, you always do multiple news stories in one sitting. What's going on? Well, I am pretty much experimenting on the idea of discussing news stories very separately from left and right. So that way you're not having to end up relying on me to come out with one big news thing. And here's the thing, when it comes to news stories, they are slow and they're too slow for me to be able to do this shit frequently. And, uh, yeah, it's just ridiculous, to be honest with you here. It keeps getting ridiculous. But, however, when there's a new story that I want to go ahead and talk about, I will go ahead and talk about the new story. And if I do talk about new stories, I may be late. But, however, it's not going to hide the fact that I'll be doing new stories separately for a change. So, so that way you're not having to rely on just one big news show and that's and really to be honest with you here I think that's one thing that's gonna definitely get these news videos actually happening again anyway that is all I will be looking forward to you in the next video peace out